As you do begin to prepare for your practice, grab any water you might need, light any candles, incense, power up the diffuser, get your playlist ready, anything that you like to add. But when you're ready, take about a minute as everyone makes their way onto their mat. Comfortable seated position of your choice, cross-legged in Sukhasana, maybe with the knees tucked beneath you in Virasana, hero's pose. Full straddle split if you're feeling really saucy. But as you begin to land on your mat in your practice, I invite you to flutter your eyes closed right away. I encourage you to start deepening your breaths right here, right now. Really tuning in, choosing to make this inhalation a little longer than the last. With the exhalation, releasing not only the breath, but the moment. Letting the next inhale launch the very next one. Just for a few more rounds of breath in stillness or in any motion that feels good, subtle rolls of the head, a sway of the whole torso perhaps. I challenge you to be so present that each of these next few breaths are actually the only thing going on anywhere. Feel the expansion of the inhale. The release, the contraction of the exhale. Strive to feel it within your body. And then maybe you feel it outside of you. The actual space around you. Expanding as you breathe into it. That same space contracting, more completely snuggling you into your space. As from it, you draw your inhalation. And within this space that's all yours, If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, for the whole week ahead, or maybe just this very next moment, please do. Please see it in your mind's eye. Feel it drop down into your heart. Consciously press it down into the roots beneath the body. Breathe it in. Fill up with it. Now between parted lips, blow it out. Sending it into the space you're about to move through. 
that space issues the next inhalation. Now let your mouth fall open, sigh away the exhale, just relinquishing some of the control. And inhale, accepting some support. Even bigger sigh of an exhalation. Flip your palms to face the sky. As you inhale, reach up overhead. Unite the palms. And with the exhale, pull them slowly down to heart center, allowing thumbs to rest against chest as the last bit of breath escapes the body. As you inhale, just feel the heart rise, pressing against the hand. With the exhale, press the hands all the way out to the sides, keeping the wrists flexed, fingers pointed up. Now flip the palms up. And with your inhale again, reach up, unite the palms. And with the exhale, draw them down to the heart, Anjali Mudra. As you inhale, the heart lifts to meet that prayer, intention set within. As you exhale, press the hands from the heart out to the sides, further expanding intention into space. Flip the palms. One more time as you inhale, reach up. Feel the sides of you lengthen from hips up the rib cage all the way to the tips of the fingers. With the exhale, draw the hands down to the heart. Inhale. Last time, as you exhale, press hands out to the sides. Flip the palms with the inhale, reach up. As you exhale, pull the hands to the heart. Inhale. And with your exhale, plant palms on the earth in front of you. Roll straight over the knees into tabletop position. Start to move. Just a little sway side to side or maybe bigger, wilder motion. Maybe now you let the head really roll a couple times in each direction. Maybe you wag the tail. Gazing over one shoulder at a time, getting long through the right as you compress through the left. Maybe you crawl the chest way down to the earth. What would feel good right now? What would send the breath? Infused with intention, rolling through every cell of the body. All 72,000 energy channels within. One more deep breath in. Start to make your way to still, to neutral spine, the gaze down between the thumbs. Open up your mouth like you're clearing your glasses. Ha! The exhale away. As you inhale, dip into cow pose. Spin the palms slightly apart to broaden through the chest. With your exhale, roll into cat pose. Chin to chest now. Open through the upper back. The inhale carries you into cow pose, maybe deeper than the left. With the exhale, curl into cat, lengthening the whole back of the body. With your inhale, arch. And with your exhale, round. As you inhale, arch once more. Now pause. As you exhale, Lower the heart all the way to the mat between the thumbs. Keep your elbows tucked in toward your side. As you inhale, press right back up to cow pose. And with the exhale, lower down again. Inhaling, press back up into your cow pose. And with your exhale, once more, the heart taps the earth between the thumbs. Inhale up to cow pose and with this exhale, slide the hands up toward the front edge of the mat. Again, the heart sinks down toward the earth. Maybe the chin or the forehead rests as well. 
for just a couple of breaths here in Anahatasana, the heart melting pose. Spread the fingers wide apart, ground through the palms all the way to each fingertip. Breathe in and out. With your next inhalation, slide forward onto the thighs, onto the belly, into Sphinx Pose. As you exhale, slide your legs a little further back on your mat. And with the inhale, really ground through the forearms, lift through the heart. As you exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. If you'd like, bend the right knee so your toes point up toward the sky. With your exhale, lower the right leg if it's lifted, center the gaze. With the exhale, gaze left. You can bend the left knee if you'd like. Inhale, back to the center. As you exhale, just pause. Spin the palms slightly toward the front corners of the mat. And with your inhale, lift the elbows. Might be just a touch off the earth in the seal pose, so the elbows might straighten. Stay for an exhalation. Inhaling, lift the gaze. It might just be the eyes. The head doesn't have to move at all. And if you'd like, bend both knees. Use a full exhalation to lower to earth. As you go, tuck the toes under. Slide the hands back in line with the heart. With your inhale, press up to tabletop. Tuck your, lift your knees. And as you exhale, slide into downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift way up onto your toes. Exhaling, take a bend in both knees. Can be just a tiny one or a deep one. As you inhale, straighten your knees, lift onto your toes. With the exhale, drop the heels to the right. You can keep legs straight or again, bend the knees. Inhale, down dog, hips center. With the exhale, drop heels to the left. Bend the knees only if you'd like. Inhale, up to down dog, even out. With the exhale, let the heels melt toward the mat, any amount. As you inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhaling, walk up to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Feet about hips width distance apart. We'll stay for a few breaths. Leave the arms heavy or clasp opposite elbows. If you prefer, you can curl the fingers forward or back between the legs. You might add a sway side to side, real subtle or dynamic. But however you go, let the head be as heavy as it possibly can be. The weight of it drawing down on those vertebrae and the neck. Maybe experiment a little bit with some new motion, some new way that amplifies your intention as you've never done before. One more inhalation, make your way to neutral, center. With your exhale, bend the knees, tiny bit, all the way into a squat or anywhere in between. Chin to chest, use a full inhale to be rolled up to stand. Super heavy arms drawing down on the shoulder girdles as the head finally stacks on top of the spine. As you exhale, roll your shoulders back in the sockets. Lean back into your heels. Lift all 10 toes, spread them wide apart, and with your inhale, plant them. And as you exhale, tip back into your heels. Once more like that, as you inhale, lean into the toes. Roll your shoulders back. Now keep the toes grounded, extended in support. As you exhale, really press into the heels so the whole foot is supporting you now. In stillness, in Tadasana, one more inhalation rolls from the feet up the legs, through the trunk, out the crown.
The exhale cascades back down. As you inhale, reach up to the sky. Unite the palms. With your exhale, draw them down past the face, beyond the heart, to the thighs, full. Inhaling, press into the thighs, just below the creases of the wrists. See all that lengthens the lower back. With your exhale, fold. Let your hands slide down the legs to the tops of the feet, knees bent or straight. And inhale to roll up to stand. Give a little shimmy of the shoulders this time. With your exhale, roll them back in the socket. As you inhale, reach up, gaze up if that's okay for your neck. With the exhale, follow your hands all the way down to the shins. And inhale to press into your hands, lengthening tailbone through crown. And exhale to fold, hands slide down to the tops of the feet or the mat. With your inhale, roll up to stand. As you exhale, circle your shoulders back. With your inhale, reach up to the sky, interlace all but the index finger. As you exhale, point them up and over to the right, the hips press left. And inhale to straighten up, point even higher. Exhaling, take your point to the left. Inhale to straighten out both sides longer now. And with your exhale, fold, hands to legs or to the earth. Inhaling, the spine lengthens. As you exhale, step the left foot back, deep lunge. With your inhale, reach the arms back. And with your exhale, plank pose. Deep breath in, shift to the tips of the toes. As you exhale, lower the knees. Bend the elbows about 90 degrees for a half chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. And with your exhale, tabletop. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. With your inhalation, lift up onto the toes. As you exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, down dog, right leg to the sky. With your exhale, plank pose, right knee toward the right elbow. Inhale, down dog, keep the right knee bent, open up the hip. And with your exhale, twisted plank, sweep the bent right knee beneath you toward the left elbow. Inhale, back up to your three-legged dog, straighten your leg this time. With the exhale, big step up off the right edge of the mat. Good. So you're in a lizard lunge. A few options here. As you inhale, you can just lift the heart. Let's all do that in the first round. Exhale. Now stay and breathe. Or with your next inhale, lift the right hand. And ninja kick the left leg forward, foot flex. If you've kicked with the exhale, back into your lunge. Again, stay or with the inhale, left leg kicks. Exhale, lizard lunge. One more, stay or inhale, kick. Exhale, lunge. Yes, inhale, right arm to the sky, just twist open. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. And with the exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. Drop the left knee to the mat. Keep the left toes tucked under. Inhaling, both arms reach up for a low lunge. With your exhale, we're pulling back to half split. So right knee straightens. Hands land on either side of it for support, head drops. As you inhale, press into the fingertips, lengthening the spine. Flex the right toes if you need more in the hamstring. With your exhale, just let go a little, melting down into your pose. Inhale, a slight lift, draw the right hip back. Exhale, a little lower. One more round of breath here. 
in and out. As you inhale, rebend the right knee. Sweep the arms up for your low lunge. With the exhale, lift the back knee so you're in a high lunge. All right, we're flying. With the inhale, we're lifting the left leg. Flex the foot, airplane pose. Arms sweep back alongside the body. Exhale here. As you inhale, we're dropping left foot to the earth, reaching both arms to the sky for Urdhva Hastasana. Interlace all but the index fingers. As you exhale, point them up and over to the left. Inhale to rise up, reach up. Exhale as you point to the right. Inhale and we lift, center. Exhale and we fold down, Uttanasana. Inhale as our halfway up to Ardha. Exhale and the right foot steps back. As you inhale, sweep the arms back so you're in your hovering lunge. Exhale takes us to plank. As you inhale, shift to the tips of the toes. Exhale to a half or a full chaturanga. Inhale is cobra or up dog. And exhale into down dog. As you inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhaling, take that one bend in the knees, still lubricating the joints. Inhale to down dog, left leg to the sky. As you exhale, slide into plank, left knee toward left arm. Keep that knee bent as you inhale to your three-legged dog, hip open. Exhale into your twisted plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, straighten the knee, press through the toes. With the exhale, step the left foot up off the left edge of the mat. Take a breath in, a little lift of the heart. Exhale, the hips might sink even lower. If you're kicking, inhale, left hand lifts, right leg kicks. Exhale, back into our lunge. Your choice to stay or inhale is your kick. Exhale into your lunge. One more inhale kick option is there. Exhale, lizard lunge, we unite. Inhale, peel the left fingers up to the sky. And with the exhale, press the left hand back down to earth. Inhale, left leg lifts to your three-legged dog. With the exhale, curl your knee toward your nose, then step foot between hands. Drop the right knee. Inhale, arms reach up to your low lunge. The exhale, pull back into your half split. Inhale, maybe a slight lift just to see if there's more length to find. The exhale, you might dip a little lower. So as the inhale expands, you might rise with it, pressing through that front heel as you draw the hip back. With the exhale, let the spine round a little. One more breath. Does it work for you to move just a bit? If not, feel free to stay still. With the next inhale, come back to your low lunge, arms up. The exhale, back knee lifts, high lunge. Inhale, airplane pose, warrior three, back leg no more than parallel with the floor. Exhale. As you inhale, reach up, both feet to the earth, Urdhva Hastasana. With the exhale, Fold all the way down into Uttanasana. Inhaling, spine lengthens for Ardha. With the exhale, step, float, or hop back to Chaturanga or a half variation. Inhales, cobra or up dog, shoulders roll back. Exhale into down dog, hips to the sky. Inhaling, lift up onto your toes. With the exhale, once more, bend your knees. Inhale, down dog. With the exhale, walk your hands back to meet your feet. 
Peace, fingers and thumbs grip the big toes. With an inhale, pull up on the toes to find that length through the spine. With your exhale, draw the belly toward the thighs, the crown toward the earth. And stay low or move upon the breath. The inhales causing a lifting, a lengthening. The exhales allow for depth. Three full breaths here. You might continue to rise and fall. You might turn it into a sway from right to left. Continuously pulling up on the toes to draw the body down toward the legs. One more deep breath in. And a slow breath out, release the toes. Bend the knees as much as you'd like. As you inhale, roll up to stand. Maybe you wiggle the arms or shimmy the shoulders as you lift, just to loosen up. As you exhale, roll your shoulders back in the sockets. Drop your eyes closed. Just for one round of breath, one full body scan in Tadasana. With your next inhale, as you reach up to the sky, bring back to mind any intention you set. With your exhale, wrap the right arm beneath left for eagle. It's like we're twisting that intention inside. With an inhale, extend the right leg forward, flex your toes, spread them apart. With your exhale, wrap right knee over left as you lower in. Inhaling, sink a little deeper in the hips, lift the elbows a little higher. Now stay, or with the exhale, lower belly toward thigh. If you've lowered, with the inhale, lift up. As you exhale, we're unwinding into that airplane pose, warrior three. So the crown moves forward, opposite direction as the right heel. Inhale. Stay for an exhale. With your next inhalation, we're lifting the heart, reaching the arms to the sky, stepping right foot to the center of the mat. As you exhale, left arm wraps beneath right, eagle style. Inhale, and the left leg extends forward. The exhale is that left knee wrapping over right for Garudasana. An inhale to open up space in your center. With the exhale, fold if you're going. Inhale to rise. And exhale to fly. Vira Vajrasana three. One long line from crown through heel. Breathe in and out. With an inhale, lift up, reach up, left foot steps forward, right meets it, hips width distance apart. As you exhale, fold, bend your knees, slide your hands beneath your feet for Padahastasana. And with an inhale, the toes press down into the wrists as the hands pull up on the feet. As you exhale, really release into your bow. Give your head a little wobble. Lift the gaze up between the legs. And inhale. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Release the hands. Bend the knees a little bit or a lot. And with your inhale, roll up. Circle the wrist. Squeeze the fingers into fist. As you exhale, release that balling of the hands. Roll the shoulders back in the sockets. Drop your eyes closed. And in Tadasana, take another scan of you. Two more full rounds of breath. 
Perhaps you circle the hips in each direction. The head might roll as well. Any extra motion you need. And with your next inhalation, you're gonna slide the feet together, interlace hands at the sacrum, lift the gaze. As you exhale, bend the knees, fold down over the legs, that clasp can lift up overhead. As you inhale, bend the knees deeper, we're sitting back into chair pose. Clasp drops to sacrum, gaze lifts toward the sky. With your exhale, fold right back down, straighten the legs any amount, let the head go. And with your inhale, chair pulls, heart lifts, maybe you lift up onto your toes. With the exhale, drop the heels if they're lifted, bow down over the legs. One more time as you inhale, come into your modified chair with the hands bound, rise onto the toes if you'd like. And with the exhale, last time, fold. Inhale, regular chair pose. Unite the palms overhead. With your exhale, draw hands through heart center. Take a twist to your right. Now with your inhale, press the right palm down into left to deepen your twist, to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, the gaze lowers, elongating the neck. Inhale to the center, straighten the knees, stand all the way up. As you exhale, sink back into chair, take your twist to the left. Inhale, palms squish together. Exhale and the gaze lowers. Inhale, Utkatasana. With your exhale, fold. Inhaling, we lengthen. Exhale carries you to Chaturanga for a flow or down dog for a rest. If you're flowing, inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing. With an inhalation, lift the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, slide into plank, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, up to your three-legged dog, hip open. With the exhale, sweep the right knee beneath you, twist your plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. With the exhale, step right foot up off the right edge of the mat. Stay. Or with the inhale, right hand lifts, left leg kicks forward. Exhale, back to your lunge. Once more, stay or inhale as your kick. Exhale as your lunge. Inhale, right arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, right leg up to your three-legged dog. And with the exhale, big step forward, right foot between the hands, left knee to the earth. Inhale, arms reach for your low lunge. With the exhale, pull back to your half split. Inhale, slight lift. Exhale, little depth. Just one more round of breath here in and out. Inhale to your low lunge, arms up. Exhale, back knee lift. Inhale, airplane pose, left leg floating. With the exhale, bend the standing knee, the right knee. We're stepping way back into that hovering lunge from the beginning. Inhale, the left arm circles you up and open to warrior two. Back heel grounds, arms parallel with the earth. With the exhale, just sink in. Inhale, exhale, front palm flips, the gaze is out over that hand. With the inhale, that arm reaches up for your reverse warrior. 
the exhale, we glide through warrior two into side angle. Right elbow to right knee, left arm up alongside the ear. As you inhale, if you've got the elbow on the knee, send it forward. The exhale, imagine the feet growing roots. Okay, inhaling, the left arm drops down in front of your face. We're taking a quarter turn to the left, so you're sideways on the mat. Bend the left knee. You can keep the hips high or drop all the way into skater's pose, skandasana, for an exhalation. As you inhale, switch sides. Left knee straightens, right knee bends. Exhale. And with the inhale, once more, switch sides. The left knee is bent. So you're lunging toward the back of your mat. As you exhale, turn to face the back of the mat. The hands surround that left foot. Inhale, left leg to the sky for your three-legged dog. With the exhale, plank, left knee to left arm. Inhale, three-legged, keep the knee bent, open the hip. With the exhale, twisted plank, left knee beneath you toward right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. The exhale, left foot steps up off the left edge of the mat. Stay, or with the inhale, left hand lifts, right foot ninja kicks. Exhale, back to your lunge. One more, inhale, kick if you're taking it. Exhale, back to your lunge. Inhale, left fingers to the sky. Exhaling, press left palm down to the mat. Inhale, left leg up to your three-legged dog. With the exhale, step left foot up between hands, drop the right knee. Inhale as your low lunge. Exhale into your half split. Two rounds of breath here, in and out. One more, in and out. Inhale as your low lunge, arms up, back, toes tucked. Exhale to your high lunge. Inhale, warrior three, flex the lifted foot. Exhaling, step back into your hovering lunge. Inhaling, cartwheel up and open, warrior two. Exhale and we settle, laser vision out over the front hand. Breathe in. The exhale, flip that front palm. Inhale is reverse warrior, big opening. Exhale and we glide and deciding we'll first reach then lower left elbow to knee, right arm overhead. Inhale, get a little longer through the right side. Exhale, feel your stability. As you inhale, the right arm drops. Quarter turn to your right, bend into the right knee. And with your exhale, just stay. Inhale and we switch as if this breath is lifting you up and over. Skandasana, bent left knee. Exhale to sink. Inhale, one more time, switch sides. The right knee is bent. With the exhale, turn to face the front of the mat. Hips square up. Inhale, right leg to the sky for your three-legged dog. As you exhale, plank, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, hip open, stay or flip by lifting the right arm. Good, if you flipped, pause for a breath. With the exhale, twisted plank, right out knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. With the exhale, right foot steps up off the right edge of the mat, stay. Or with the inhale, one kick of the left leg forward. Exhale, back to your lunge. Inhale, the right arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, right hand presses to the earth. 
Inhale, right leg up for your three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps forward, left knee drops. Inhale, arms up, low lunge. Exhale, we pull back, half split. Just one inhale this time. Then an exhale. Inhale as your low lunge, arms rise. Exhale, back knee lifts, high lunge. Inhale, warrior three, left leg hovering. Exhale, and we step back to our hovering lunge. Inhale as your big cartwheel open, warrior two. With an exhale, flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. The exhale, extended side angle, elbow to knee or right hand to the earth. Let's stay for an inhale. And an exhale. As you inhale, left arm drops. Quarter turn, bend the left knee. Hands to the earth for balance or maybe to the heart. Exhale. The inhale floats you through the middle. Bend the right knee now. Stay for an exhalation. As you inhale, come through the center like you're dancing through goddess pose. Bend the left knee. And with the exhale, turn to face the back of the mat. Let's go. As you inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Exhale into plank, knee toward left arm. Inhale, three-legged, hip opens, or lift the left hand to flip. Wherever you've landed, stay for an exhale. And inhale. Exhale, and we meet up in twisted plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, send left toes to the sky. With the exhale, left foot steps up off the left edge of the mat, lizard lunge. Stay, or with the inhale, right leg kicks forward. Exhale, back to your lunge. Inhale, left arm to the sky, gaze up toward that hand. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts. With the exhale, left foot lands between the hands, right knee drops. Inhale, low lunge, arms up. Exhale, we pull back, half split. Inhale, lift to the heart. And exhale, maybe a dip. Inhale, low lunge, reach high. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step back into your hovering lunge. Inhale, warrior two, hips and shoulders open. Exhale, front palm flips. Inhale for reverse warrior. And exhale into side angle pose. Stay here for an inhale. And an exhale. With the inhale, the right arm lowers. We turn. Bend the right knee and exhale, maybe the arms open, maybe you bind. With the inhale, we're switching, left knee bends, skandasana. With the exhale, you might take an arm variation. Inhale and we'll switch once more. The exhale, we turn to face the front of the mat. Got one more round in you? I think that's a yes. With your next inhale, down dog, right leg lifts. With the exhale, plank, right knee to right arm. Inhale, hip open or flip. With the exhale, straight into your twisted plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up. With the exhale, step up off the right edge of the mat and stay. Or with the inhale, left leg kicks. Exhale, we meet in the lunge. Inhale, right arm reaches up, feel that open the chest up. 
Exhale, right hand presses to earth. Inhale, three-legged, right leg lifts, toes spread. With the exhale, step forward, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, airplane. Exhale, hovering lunge, step way back. Inhale, through reverse warrior, straight into reverse warrior, yeah. And exhale into side angle pose or a bind. One deep breath in, a slow breath out. As you inhale, left arm drops or you unbind. Quarter turn on your mat and a lunge into the left knee. Exhale, maybe you vary the arms, opening, binding, reaching. As you inhale, switch sides, right knee bends. Exhale. One more switch with an inhale, float through the center, bend the left knee. Exhale, turn to face the back of the mat. As you inhale, left leg lifts for your three-legged. Exhale into plank, knee to left arm. Inhale, back up, hip open or flip. Exhale, twisted plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps off the left edge of the mat, stay. Or inhale, one ninja kick. Exhale into your lunge. Inhale, left arm peels up to the sky. And with the exhale, it presses down to earth. Inhale, left toes lift way up. Exhale, and they step up between the hands, right knee drops. Inhale as your low lunge. Exhale to your half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, warrior three, airplane pose. Exhale, step back into your hovering lunge. Inhale, straight into reverse warrior. Then exhale into side angle or a bind. A full breath in here. Let it all out. With an inhale, we're lowering, we're turning, right knee bends for skandhasana for a variation. Exhale. The inhale allows us to switch sides with some grace, with some float. Exhale. One more inhale, switch last time. Exhaling, we turn to face the front of the mat, right knees forward. Inhale, just step the left foot up to the top of the mat to meet the right. Lift the heart. As you exhale, fold, bend the knees so that you can hug the legs. Take a breath in here. And out. Release your hug. Bend your knees. Use a full inhale to roll up to stand. With an exhale, circle your shoulders back. Drop your eyes closed. In Tadasana, press down into all ten toes. Feel that influx of intention. Flow up through the system of you, out through the crown. You're pulled a little higher, a little lighter. The exhale, we drop back into the heels, into the support, into a little bit of ease. Now scan up through the body with your inhale. Maybe you roll the shoulders back or circle the wrists. The exhale, does the head or the hips need to move? 
one more round of breath, doing any kind of steering you need with mobilizing the body. Maybe you just trust the breath to flow, the intention to be sent where it's needed. With your next inhalation, reach up to the sky. As you exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, long spine. With an exhale, one last time, step or hop through chaturanga for a flow or down dog for a rest. If you're flowing, the inhale is cobra or up dog. Exhale and we meet in downward facing. As you inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhaling, drop the heels to the right. Bend the knees if you'd like. Maybe you lift the left arm up for a big, lazy lateral stretch. With an inhale, down dog, lift the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, step the right foot way up off the right edge of the mat. Inhale, and the heart lifts a little. With the exhale, you might choose to move. We'll be here for a little while. It's your choice if you want to take some more kicks or if you'd like to lower the back knee. Maybe you come down onto the forearm. Wherever you are, you might roll to the baby toe blade of the right foot so that you can see the sole open up. Option to take the right hand back to clasp the left foot. If you've got that experiment with pushing the foot into the hand versus using the hand to pull the heel in toward the body. You might take yourself through a sweet sequence of these options or any other invention. Consider closing your eyes and maybe adding a gentle sway from right to left. If you just need to keep moving, you might lift the right arm up with your inhales. Lower it back down with the exhale. Take what you need right now. Allow yourself to receive. Let's just go one more round of breath wherever you are. And then we'll start to make our way back so that starting position with the palms grounded, just about beneath the shoulders. The back knee lifted. With an inhale, lift the right arm, taking that twist. With the exhale, press right hand down into the earth. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. As you exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. Drop the left knee to the mat. With an inhale, the arms reach up for your low lunge. As you exhale, pull back into your half split. The inhale, just a little lift. With the exhale, you might start to scoot that front heel forward. Inhale, another little lift. With the exhale, you might stay or you might start moving deeper toward a full split, scooting the front heel forward, sliding the back knee back. If you've never gone further than the half, you might allow yourself to just experiment a little bit, to play. Equally viable is to come all the way out of it or to sit way back onto that left heel. Wherever you are, consider again closing your eyes. Consciously choosing stillness or motion. Maybe you continue to play. 
Maybe it's with a tucked toe versus untucked, flexed or pointed, heart lifted or lowered. About three more breaths as you are. And we'll start to make our way into that half split, Ardhana Manasana. With your next inhale, a low lunge. And with your exhale, plank pose. As you inhale, shift to the tips of your toes. With an exhale, lower the knees, bend the elbows about 90 degrees. As you inhale, make your way to cobra pose. With your exhale, through tabletop, into down dog. Inhaling, lift up onto your toes. With your exhale, drop heels to the left, bend your knees if you'd like, lift the right arm if that would feel good. Inhale is down dog, even out, lift the left leg up. As you exhale, step the left foot up off the left edge of the mat. Inhale, and the heart might lift a little. With the exhale, consider closing your eyes already as you begin to move into where you're needed. Either lowering onto the forearms or dropping the back knee, maybe both. From either position, you might take the left hand back to clasp the right foot. You might tip the left foot open. And then you might bring in some subtle motion. Maybe you let the right ear fall toward the right shoulder. Maybe you let the heart dip where it's been wide open. The opposite. You might choose perfect stillness. Just allowing the posture to add that passive tension to the connective tissues we're targeting here. The breath continues to flow no matter what. In through the nostrils and back out again. just as it moves in and out of you, moves in and out of the universe around. Continuously displacing that intention inside and out. And begin to make your way back up onto the palm. Left foot fully grounded, right knee lifts. With an inhale, lift the left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand presses back to earth. Inhale, and the left leg rises into your three-legged dog. With the exhale, step forward, drop the right knee to the mat. Inhale and the arms reach up for your low lunge. Exhale and you draw back into your half split. With the inhale, slight lift. And with the exhale, you start to move if you're going to. Moving is optional. You might be just fine where you are.
But if you're cruising toward full splits or any place in between, let the breath lift and lower you. Kind of two steps forward, one step back. So you've always got a gauge on how far you've come. You're always able to stay back if you've gone too far ahead. Allow the breath to keep guiding you. Maybe you experiment with a little lateral motion, a sway, a twist a lifting and lengthening, a lowering and melting. One more full, deep, slow round of breath. And we'll start to move back into the half variation. Next inhale, low lunge, reach up. Exhale into plank pose. As you inhale, shift to the tips of the toes. With the exhale, lower the knees, the heart and the chin to the mat. Inhale onto the thighs, the belly, lift the heart, low cobra. With the exhale, melt back down to the earth. As you inhale, slide the forearms ahead, parallel with one another for Sphinx Pose. With the exhale, extend your legs a little further back on your mat. Inhale, maybe you lift the elbows for Seal Pose. Maybe you bend the knees, pointing toes toward the head. As you exhale, lower the legs, lower the forearms, lower the chin toward the chest. With an inhale, sphinx pose, just lift the heart. As you exhale, gaze over the left shoulder, bend the left knee if you'd like. Inhaling, center up, lift a little higher through the heart, through the gaze. With the exhale, take that gaze to the right. Inhale, center. With the exhale, melt down to earth, slide the hands back in line with the chest. As you inhale, lift into tabletop, tuck your toes. Exhale into downward facing dog. One big breath here in through your nose. Open up your mouth, sigh the exhale away. Inhaling, lift up onto your toes. Gaze up between your thumbs. The exhale, bend your knees and step or hop through to seated. Good. With an inhale, reach up to the sky. As you exhale, reach up even higher and then out over the legs. So like you're reaching up and over. Keep your arms hovering alongside your ears. With an inhale, perhaps you lift slightly. And with the exhale, you can let go. Drop the arms, the icing on the cake. Hands can clasp the feet in a traditional Pashimottanasana shape. Or you can wrap them around the legs or just flop them to the earth. But with an inhale, press into whatever you're touching, a little more length. And with the exhale, snuggle into your forward fold. An inhale here rolls from the tailbone up over the lumbar spine, across the sacrum, through the cervical, right through the brain. The exhale trickles from the crown to the toes, along the hamstrings. 
Feel the inhale cycle up and over. The exhale down across the earth. One more full round of breath here. This beautiful shape you've created. With the next inhalation, we're gonna tip this shape upside down. So using your hands or not, we're gonna roll onto the back, lift the legs straight to the sky, Viparita Karani. Stay for an exhale, point your toes toward the sky. As you inhale, flex your feet so you're pressing through the heels. And with the exhale, bend your knees. Plant your toes on the earth in front of the hips. Ground into the balls of the feet, then press the heels down to the mat. Inhale. With an exhale, peel the hips up into your first back bend of this sequence. Good. As you inhale, you might lift up onto your toes. And with your exhale, slowly roll down to earth. First the upper back, the center of the back, the lower, the heels if they're lifted. Pause for a breath in. With the exhale, we'll cruise up into a second back bend. Keep the palms planted. Or if you'd like, roll the shoulders beneath you. You can interlace the hands if that feels good. Or leave them open. With an inhale, you might lift the right knee toward the sky. And if you have, with the exhale, lower right foot back down to earth. You lifted the right, inhale, the left knee arises. Exhale and it lowers. One more inhale, lift onto the toes if you're feeling it. Unlace the hands if they're bound. And with the exhale, return one vertebrae at a time to the earth. And the heels. A grounding inhalation as you prepare for a final back bent when we've already done or maybe a full wheel if you're finished that's fine too just let the knees knock together if you're rising come on up on an exhalation with an inhale you might lift the leg to the sky maybe it straightens all the way out if so exhale it back down to the earth inhale maybe the other leg lifts Exhale. One more inhale, lift onto your toes if you'd like. And with the exhale, we'll find our way back down to earth. Pause for grounding, neutralizing inhalation. And an exhale. As you inhale, extend the legs all the way out straight on the mat, reach the arms way up overhead. And with the exhale, bend the right knee, both hands reach for it, squeeze it in toward the right shoulder. As you inhale, you can make a little circle with that right knee, if it feels good to the hip. As you exhale, guide the right knee over to the left into a twist. Left shoulder can snuggle to the left. Then inhale, right arm reaches out to the right. Blow the exhale away. Full breath in. Complete exhale. One more deep breath in. And a slow release. 
With an inhale, roll onto your back. Lift the right leg to the sky. Both hands clasp the back of the knee or the calf. With an exhale, draw it in toward the body any amount just to feel the hamstring. As you inhale, slow release into your long, full body stretch. Spread your fingers and your toes. Exhaling, go for your left knee. Pawamukhtasana, squeeze it in tight. As you inhale, go for a circle. The exhale takes you into your twist. Right shoulder scoots to the right. If it helps, make space for the left. With an inhale, the left arm reaches, the gaze may extend toward it. Through parted lips, with a little force, blow the exhale away. Feel yourself propelled into the twist. You can let go a little. And then just breathe. Mm, with your next inhale, roll onto your back. Left leg to the sky, hands catch the back of it. As you exhale, draw it in toward you. And with the inhale, we're opening up into that long, full body stretch. And with the exhale, you'll make your way into your final resting pose. Whether you snow angel, the arms down toward the sides, the legs open mat width, or maybe you bring the soles of the feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana. Feel free to come back into a bridge pose prep if that's better on your lower back. Wherever you are, take a few wiggles, a few snuggles, maybe a turn or two of the head. And then squeeze hands into fists, scrunch your toes, clench your jaw, squint your eyes tightly shut. With an exhale, let that all melt away. Feel the next inhalation flood through the crown of the head, fully softening the brow the temples, the jaw. Through a wide open mouth, side the exhale away as that ease rolls down the neck into the shoulders, the arms loose and fingers soften. An inhale expansive from heart through chest. The whole thorax relaxes. Flutter the exhale between the lips. Good. Feel the center of the body, the abdominal wall, the lumbar spine. Let go. And inhale. Flows from the sacrum through the pelvis. Maybe the hips wiggle a little. Through the nostrils, the exhale easily, effortlessly rushes leaving the quadriceps at ease. The knees loose, the calves soft, the feet just flopped open. The space abound offers you the next inhalation. And you offer back a soft, easy exhale. The universe sends in the next breath, refills, refuels the body with intention. With your exhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. 
sending ripples out into that intention filled space around you. As you inhale, start to rotate the ankles and the wrists. With your exhale, bend both knees, wrap the arms around them, squeeze in tight. Simultaneously locking intention in, setting your practice free. As you inhale, begin to sway right to left if it feels good. With your exhale, rock all the way onto your right side. Use an inhale to lift yourself up into the seated position where you begin. As you exhale, roll your shoulders back in the socket. Flip your palms to face skyward. Unite thumb and forefinger in chin mudra. Prepare to receive all that you need to perpetuate this intention. Breathe in. And out. As you inhale, reach up to the sky, unite your palm. As you exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Inhale so deeply the heart rises to meet the thumb. With the exhale, press the hands out to either side, keeping wrist flex just like in Anjali Mudra. With the palm, inhaling, reach up. Reunite hands in the sky. With the exhale, draw them down to the eyes. Inhale and the brow rests against the thumbs. Exhale. Loka Samasta Sugi no Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Namaste.